Okay, let's talk about scientific notation, uh, which is an important thing uh, in the realm of Sparky's, um, some metal fab, engineering, that sort of thing. Okay, so first of all, what are we talking about? Scientific notation is a way of dealing with numbers that are either crazy big or crazy small, okay? It's a, it's a concise, compact way of writing them. Yeah, because there could be some issues there. But let's say I've got the number uh, 75 million, okay? If I'm going to copy that out, what if I get the number of zeros wrong? If I copied it out as that, that that's a significant difference, okay? Or alternatively, if I added a zero, okay? So this is a way of making sure that that, that isn't an issue at all, okay? So how does it work? All right, so here's the principles. Let's say we got um, a number like 5,600. Okay, now, theoretically, you can do this with any number. So it's gonna work with this one. All right, so 5,600, if you think about it, that's 5.6 times 1,000. There's a fly buzzing around, okay? If I jump the decimal place, so if I, at the moment, the decimal place is there, okay? If I'm gonna move it back here, I've got to divide one, two, three. I've got to divide by a thousand. Okay. So to get back to that, I've got 5.6 times a thousand. In other words, if I had 5.6, jump it three places, one, two, three, to expand it back up, that's 5,600. Okay. Cool. All right. But what's another way of writing a thousand? Well, a thousand, that's 10 by 10 by 10, yeah? But that's also 10 cubed or 10 to the power of three. So let's just go back to the beginning now. So if we, if we know this, 5,600, I can write that as 5.6 by 10 to the power of three, okay? That is scientific notation. Here's the rules, okay? The number at the start has to be between, between 1.0 and 9.99999, okay? It can't be, okay, so this isn't, this is not uh, scientific notation. That's that's not it. Okay, because that number there is wrong. All right. Uh, this is not scientific notation because that number there is wrong. That first number has to be between one point zero and nine point nine 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 nine. All right. So let's get some some examples going on here. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so if I've got 6,230, there's my decimal place. All right, so what, how many places do I move it? I want to get the decimal place to there. Okay, so that is actually 6.23 times 1,000, three jumps, which in fact, is 6.23 by 10 to the power of three. Okay, so that there is this number in scientific notation. And you can do it with any number. So let's do it with one that you'd ordinarily probably wouldn't do it with because it's already a, a usable size, but there's my decimal point. I've got to jump it to there. Now that's just one jump. So that's actually 4.8 times 10. Okay, that's 4.8 by 10 to the power of one. You're only like, it's only one times itself. Or times itself once, so there's only one of them, okay? 
But let's get this. Yeah, this is the really the, the kind of thing that we use this for. Okay, so I've got what, 85, 85 million. All right, there's my decimal place. So I want to shift the decimal place all the way over to here. So here we go. We go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's seven decimal places. So that is actually going to be 8.5 times 10 to the 7. So the number of jumps is the power on the 10. Okay, now can you see that writing that is a lot easier than writing that? Okay, that's clumsy, it takes up more room and the process of copying it, you can mess it up. You could add a zero or leave a zero out. This is far more foolproof. Okay, so that is scientific notation. But at the beginning, I said to you, this is uh, uh, for crazy big or crazy small numbers. All right, well, let's, let's look at the crazy small. How does that work? All right, so if I've got, hmm, let's see. 0 0.005 okay well what's another way of writing that well that's 5 divided by something isn't it 1 2 3 that's actually 5 divided by 1000 or you know 5 divided by 1000 yeah okay how do we write a thousand? Well, a thousand is to the power of three. All right, but hold up, we don't do the divide thing. There is a thing in maths where if you multiply by the negative of the power, that means it's actually dividing, okay? So I know there's probably a, a jump scare I've just put there on you, but if you are dividing by 10 to the power of 3, it's actually the same as multiplying by 10 to the negative 3. Now, 10 to the negative 3 is just um, 0 0.123001. 0, 0, it's that. Okay? That's 10 to the negative 3. So that's not quite so uh, intuitive, but that's, that's how it applies to really small numbers. Okay, let's uh, let's have some examples. Let's get another bit of paper here. All right, so let's go with uh, zero point zero seven eight. Okay, so remember the rule has to be the decimal place has to land here. Okay, because the first number has to be between one and nine point nine. So I've got to get the decimal place from there to there. One, two. Okay. So that's 7.8 by 10. Oh, now hang on. That's no, going to be two, but because this was a small number to start with, it's going to be negative. Okay. What if I've got 0 0.00000009? Eight six. Okay, so where's my decimal point need to end up? It's got to end up there. Not there, and not there, but there. All right, not there either, because that's going to be nine point eight six. All right, so how many jumps have I got to do? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. That's 9.86, which is from here, times 10. And what did we say? 7. But this is a really, really small number, so we put the negative. One more. 0 0.00004. Okay, so where's my decimal point need to end up? Notice that's the question I'm asking each time. Where does the decimal point need to end? It's got to end there. It's got to end up there. All right, so I go one, two, three, four, five. So that's 4.0 times 10 to the five, but this is a really small number, so I've got the negative there. The five comes from how many place values I've jumped. 
Okay, so I'm going to give you some practice now. Um, what I would do, I'll write these down and then pause the video and go and do them yourself. Okay, so this is uh, right. These as scientific notation. All right, so number one, um, 78,000. Number two, uh, 14.6. And number three, 0.0091. Okay, hit the pause button. Oh, sorry, write those down, hit the pause button, go and do them yourself. Pause. All right, so assuming you pause, let's do this now. So decimal point starts there, but it's got to end up there. Now, this is a big number, so the power is going to be positive. But how many places? One, two, three, four. Okay, so... That's going to be 7.8 by 10 to the power of 4. Cool. Now this is more, it's more than, it's more than 1, so it's going to be uh, a positive power, but where's my power, where's my decimal placing to end up? Well there, it's just going to jump one place. So this is, yeah, you don't need scientific notation to do this number, but theoretically, move it over there by 10 to the 1. Okay, you wouldn't use scientific notation for that, but just to prove a point that you can do anything with it. Now this one, I'm going to have a negative power here, aren't I? Because this is a tiny, tiny number. So my decimal point needs to end up there. One, two, three. Okay, so that's 9.1 by 10 to the negative three. Okay, because it's a small number, I'm going to have a negative there, and it's three jumps. Okay, so that's how you write a regular number as scientific notation. Uh, I think there's that first page of the booklet now. You are now equipped to go and do. So get amongst that.